please like, share it, subscribe, button down there. And if you want to go to me, Nottingham Online, all the information is in the bio. How are you doing? All right. So this week I'm going to talk about how to screw the ball back, which, uh, you know, it's nice to do. Looks good. Um, but a lot there's a lot of stuff out there and people talk about it's all about timing. Um, still not sure what that means. Uh, and you've got to have a nice smooth hit through the ball, right? That's always nice, and then I began all that means. The ball's gone. You can't get through it. Um, the, the, you know, the, the secret is hitting below centre. That's it. That is it. That's all you have to do. And the ball can't help but come back. So there's a couple of videos here showing how and why. That's what we think. So why do people think a long swing helps you with screw back? Well, a lot of players that can screw the ball back a long way have got a long swing. But it's not the long swing as such. Uh, it's not the smoothness of the hit. It's what a long swing, because I've got a long swing. So I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't have a long swing. But my point is here is that you need to, if you're not getting screw back, it's not because you haven't got a long swing. It's because you're not hitting low enough on the cue ball, right? So a lot of people will try and screw a ball back and then they will hit it as hard as they can and not hit low. And they think, not hit it, not hit it well enough. It's not that you haven't hit it well, you haven't hit low enough. That's the only reason you're not gonna screw back is because you've not hit low on the cue ball. I can play really quick hits, but if I hit low and hard, it's gonna come backwards. So my point here is, if you can't get the screw back that you want, don't, the first rabbit hole to go down as such is to make sure that you're hitting lower. Now, a long swing can help you in that, is that it can help you more accurate, because if you've got a longer swing, you can, you can accelerate slower so that it's easier to control the Q-tip to the bottom of the Y. Ultimately, you've got to be going a certain speed when you hit the cue ball, because the, the cue ball doesn't know whether you've hit it nice or bad. It's just one thing hitting another at a certain point, which will create an outcome. So you could still screw the ball back with a really short, quick hit, with no follow through, the full length of the table, if you hit low and hard like this. Right, so here goes. I'm gonna screw back length of the, or into the ball, into ball basically, uh, with a very short, horrible hit. So I'm not gonna time it or hit it sweet. Uh, I'm just gonna hit low and hard. Um, I'm gonna set myself up so I can't follow through very much. Not that it matters because the ball's gonna to have to four mil. And I can't pull the cue back very far, so it's gonna be really quick and horrible. So if I can set myself up there, look, this is horrible for me. No follow through, look. And then I'll try and, it's good if I'm not drawing on my cue. Um, get to there, and then I'll try and hit it. This is horrible, this is. I feel like I'm top of the Y. Magical ball striking. So here we go. There's my short little pullback. And a short hit, and I've paused it there just to show everyone that the ball has left my tip. So anything after that, any follow through is irrelevant. There you go. And there she's off she goes, and wait for it. Wait for, there she is. Lovely. Magical ball striking. So there you go. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's all about where you hit, not how. Um, and like I said there, I'm, you know, I've got a long hit. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a long hit, but, you know, it's not why you're not screwing back, that you've not got a long, smooth hit. It's because you're not hitting low. Hit low and hard, guaranteed that you're going to screw back. See you soon.